God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you did that on purpose. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yeah, I looked you I... right in the face. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, welcome to the Power Chamber Podcast. The only PCP that is now available in most countries, but not all of them. <laughs> you know, that's actually true, probably. Oh, okay, cool. Actually, I don't actually think it is. I, uh, I don't know. Since, um, you know, we don't use clips and Toei can't take it down because yeah. of Jap- Japanese reasons. Yeah. We don't... <laughs> Ownership reasons is the real thing. I don't know. So. Yeah. Even though we talk about Power Rangers a whole lot. Yep. A whole lot. We're going to do it on this episode. We're going to do it quite a bit. Yes, we did it finally. Yes, we we, we have completed the thing after months. <laughs> the after months, you actually did quantify it. Yeah, I looked. I went back to see how long it actually took us to finish that show. Yeah, how long? four months. Four months. Four months for thirty-two episodes. Yeah, you do realize it's like eight episodes per month, right? Yeah, that's two episodes a week. No, yes, what that thing yeah. that you said. Yeah, two, two episodes a week. Yeah. yeah, or something like that. Which is actually not bad, all things considered. I disagree. <laughs> you realize I'm like 15 episodes into Jungle Fury right now. Oh my god. <laughs> That's right. You were on the Ghost of a Chance arc already. Yeah. Jungle Fury. Uh, we'll, get in, we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, yeah. No, Jungle Fury is pretty but, awesome. But um, firstly... We saw a new movie this yeah, week. Again. A new movie again. Yay. Yeah. A new movie that Nick was really excited about. Horns. Yeah. Yay. To toss up confetti. Yeah. I don't have confetti. You need that graphic now. No, no. I'm not going to go try to find that and try to find out how to do the thing. That's what what the confetti sounds like. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I don't know. I got Nerezuka, so there's that. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's... He keeps saying that he has one. I don't believe him. Oh, yeah. I'll show it to you after this. <laughs> okay. Don't sure take that out of context. Um, Nick was really uh, into this movie that we saw. Yes, it he was. He was super excited. The Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens yeah. is the full title of this movie. The, the Rogue Point Five. No. <laughs> it's more like... It's more like A New Hope. 2.1, yeah. 2.0. Yeah. Um, it, there were a I lot personally, of... I personally disagree with that, but I mean, that's what a lot of people were thinking. Like, that's what I was like, thinking, definitely, while I was watching the movie. There's a lot like, I mean, you hit the same beats, but then you gotta remember that, like, I mean, or at least I have to remember because you haven't seen it. Yes, we failed in our mission. Yeah. Um, well, I but, mean, episode six is really hard to get a hold of, unless you want to buy, like, all of them at once. Yes. So. Yeah. Uh, but, so we didn't actually complete our mission of writing, watching every Star Wars movie leading up to this. No, I only saw two of them. Point, I've seen all of them, so that's probably why I enjoyed this a lot more than you did. Well, I mean, I saw A New Hope, which is, you know, that's what this movie was. Well, I mean, again, if you look back at, like, some, like, Phantom Menace, they, they, they follow a lot of the same, I mean, they go to Tatooine, there's a... There's a thing in space that they have to destroy at the end of the movie. Yeah, but I only saw that movie like the once. A major character mentor figure dies. Yeah, I remember that. Liam Neeson. Yeah. You will be missed. I remember the the pod racers. He's like super tall. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and Liam Neeson and uh, Jar Jar Binks. That's all I remember about episode that's, one. That's sad. Sorry. You and McGregor I remember, might be coming back. I remember Natalie super... Portman's makeup. Yeah. As Amidala. Well, yeah, because that's one of those things that you're just going to look at and go on. She's like, Amidala, and I'm like, I'm a five. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a joke I've never heard before. All right. Uh, I mean, it's probably an easy joke. Somebody, yeah. I'm sure, has made oh, yeah. in no. the... Uh, no, uh, I totally invented that just in now. In the 16 years that that movie has And existed. I'm going to trademark it. <laughs> Anytime anybody uses that sentence out of context. <laughs> uh, we're, we're over with that. Yeah, we are over with that. Copyright has changed. Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah, for the better. Um, yeah. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this movie. Oh, yeah, so Star Wars Episode the Seven. Yay, yeah, 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 Episode um, the Seven. I liked this movie, all things considered. Yeah. Um, it definitely was a sequel to the. I, um, but it was weird because. I watched that movie and like the hype never really hit me for that movie. Sure. Until like 
the movie like started. Like as soon as the score comes on and the titles go, yeah. it's like Star Wars. I'm like, holy shit! I'm watching a Star Wars movie. <laughs> oh, it's man. 2016. Yeah. Yeah. This is so super cool. And then I watched it and I forgot how because it's been like 10 years or something since I've seen a new Star Wars movie. Yeah. Oh my god. And I forgot how good this felt. And I'm sitting there going, oh my god. Oh uh, sure. It's so red. It definitely um, felt like a Star Wars movie. Yes. And more than that, it felt like a Star Wars sequel. Yeah. It was a good um, picking up point from but the I, last one. I gotta keep that in mind, though, because, I mean, that's what I thought about The Hobbit, uh, the first one. Yeah. As you watch that movie, it feels like an LOTR movie. Sure. It's a big, sprawling epic. I mean, sure, the first act probably drags for some people. But just I mean, a it's little. Still a, it's still a movie. Fellowship yeah. drags just a little bit, but I mean, you got a lot of story to get through. Well, yeah, because you got like 15 people that are not <laughs> all the same right. species. Yeah, the race. Yes. Get, you know, you learn your vernacular. Well, I mean, it's species, but I mean, whatever. No. It's, They're different creatures, man. They're the race of elves and the race of dwarves and the race, race of, of men. men. Uh, They're races. We didn't have any race of men in, in The Hobbit, did we? Uh, no. Yeah, there's that little no. mention of Aragorn. Yeah. At the end of... Uh, oh, there are no humans in this movie. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Except for... No, 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 no. We did get Bard and his family. Oh, yeah, Bard. Yeah. The the not Orlando Bloom, and he, his and his son should have died. When yeah, they the, should, they should the be the dead. smoke thing happened. Um, but anyway. Anyway. Uh, but the, we the we at least movies. accomplished that. We, can we say in our mission? Uh, we at least, I've seen all of those movies. Yeah. Um, and I would say, you know, whether or not Battle of the Five is a good movie mm. uh, really doesn't take away from the fact that Fellowship happened. Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm sorry, man. I love that movie. No, it's okay. Uh, a New Hope is a great movie, so I'm yeah. totally right with you. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, but I super enjoyed this. Uh, it did a lot of things that I was expecting it to do. Uh, not a whole ton of surprises in this movie, um, no. but I was still with it emotionally. Um, yeah. Spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen this movie since it came out in December and I yeah, really watched it a while recently. ago. Yeah. Um, so we got the Han Solo death. Um, yeah. Which, you know, just kind of happens. Wait, hold on. Can we talk about how Harrison Ford is the best part of the movie? Because. Uh, I don't know. Well, he might be the best part, but I think John Boyega is my favorite part. The guy uh, who played Finn? Yeah. But. But I mean, he's having so Solo, much. He's having so much fun doing. Harrison that Ford is that character. Like, I he know. encompasses it's so everything weird <laughs> because it's been like yeah. thirty plus years since the yeah. end of Return of the Jedi. Oh my god! And he's he goes right into it. Yeah, like he never left the character. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so weird it's because like even like just dialogue the way he says. Yeah, stuff. I mean, because you remember uh, what was that? The, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, the uh-huh. Indiana Jones. Yeah. How you watch that movie and you're like, well, I mean, it's just old Indy and whatever. It, I mean, he's not really, you know, uh, into it. his age sure. kind of shows a little bit in that movie. Yeah. Uh, here is just kind of like going right back into it. It's yeah, so yeah, something just clicks about this character. Like yeah. the moment he gets on screen. Yes. Which is um, about halfway through. Well, I mean, after the first act. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So that's not after, so act. that's not like halfway through. No, not at all. But yeah. Finn and Ray take the Millennium Falcon. Yes. At the end of Act One, we get introduced to Ray, yes. uh, who, for some reason, is real into like helping BB-8. Yeah. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, well, like especially if she that, doesn't. That's one of the like major problems I have with this this movie. Um, so there's definitely some pacing issues, and. A couple of script issues here and there, yes. mainly just focusing on dialogue because there's a whole like people say things that didn't need to be said. Yeah. Um, but like there's, there's a whole lot of pacing issues, particularly at the beginning. We kind of have to rush through this so we can get started and actually go with the movie. Uh, like the whole thing with um, Finn and uh, being a stormtrooper and watching all the horror and then turning coat. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of weird. It was weird. Uh, it just kind of happened. Yeah, because it just kind of clicks because you don't know that guy when when that happens. Yeah. Um, and well, I mean, admittedly, they don't, like, how far could you get into it with him being, you know, like I am stormtrooper, blah 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 blah. Number, um, yeah. But um, and then you get into Ray, which you know that's that is super quick. Uh, she saves him. She saves BB-8 from that one smuggler guy, which yeah. you know I understand. Uh, what I don't get is BB-8 wanting to follow her. Yeah, because uh, that I mean that just kind of happens. A lot of stuff just kind of happens. Because I mean, you remember reasons. in the New Hope when like 
R2 is like bought by Uncle Owen and yeah. Luke and then all of a sudden he just leaves. Yeah, he just starts walking he just away because he's, he's got, got shit to do. Yeah, he's got a yeah. mission, you know? Yeah. He's got places to be, so you, you, you'd you think that, you know, we kind of... It would be kind of the same thing. Yeah. Um, um, but it's not really the same droid. With the, um, yeah, I know. BB-8 um, is also a little more animated than R2 was. Just a little bit, though. That, that Only thing, a little. That thing actually moves. They built that thing. Yeah. 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 No, that is what I'm sort of saying, though. Like, that thing, when it moves, it has more personality than what R2 has. Not to say that R2 doesn't have any yeah, personality. Yeah, R2 definitely has He's personality. He's just limited by range of motion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you definitely, like, that guy communicates through the beeping. Right. Yeah. He's saying something. Yeah. <laughs> it's binary. Um, but, yeah, Ray, whenever she decides that she's not going to sell him... For food, that just kind of yeah. That, that was, I would have been like, what? I would, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, that that was really quick. I mean, I would have even bought her, you know, doing it and then going back, like later, you know. No, oh, sure, yeah. And a couple of the pacing issues in this movie. Also, like uh, apparently Simon Pegg was in this movie. Yeah, and he so made was, like a cameo. Yeah, and so was uh, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Yeah. yeah. I didn't uh, see them. I well, yeah. Uh, some people I've heard that like some people speculate that it was that guy who was doing the food is Simon uh, Pig. Okay. Uh, and that the stormtrooper that she does the force thing on is Daniel Craig. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's weird. That is weird. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, you got to be a fan to do something like that. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. Uh, what McAvoy. In the best cameo ever. <laughs> Seriously, like, it just happens, and you're like, dude! <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, <laughs> say something. Well, I mean, because a whole lot of stuff, th- those cameos especially happen really quick in that movie, but we're, yeah. not, we're not here talking no, about No, we're not here talking about the Muppets. Um, let's get back into this movie, so... Alright, so they, 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 you know, Finn and Ray meet up, and BB-8 yeah. was like, that guy has that guy's jacket. And, yeah, because uh, yeah. Finn had... You know, he's a stormtrooper, and he saw the atrocities of battle. It was or that was apparently his first. He fight. like grew a soul. It was weird. yeah. Uh, it just kind of happens, and then he just is like, "I'm gonna, I'm getting this guy out of here." Yeah, I'm gonna take um, this guy that we took prisoner that we yeah. tortured already. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then he, he sets him free, but then they end up crashing. Yeah, and that guy is gone. Yeah, um, just vanished. I thought he got ate by yeah, the sand. By the sandworm. I choose to believe the boffins. Anyway, the boffin. We don't even know what we don't those know what things are. <laughs> or at least we won't. Rogue One. Um, Rogue One, a Star Wars <laughs> story. <laughs> yeah, you had mentioned that. You oh, don't like the title It's funny. It's stupid. hilarious. It makes me laugh. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, at least an unexpected journey was like, oh, that's the name of the book no, that Bilbo was the writing. Was... No, 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 no. An unexpected journey. Oh, I thought it was there and back again. Oh, they, yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, that's and they didn't even use it. No, they didn't. They, they were, were gonna, gonna, but yeah. they didn't. <laughs> and I really hated Desolation of Smog for a long time because of that. Well, but, uh, no. It's, still good. It, it's a good movie. Uh, it's it's a much better film than it is, I think, an LFTR movie. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, you watch that movie, and this doesn't feel like an LFTR movie. It doesn't. Um, but, but I mean, know. it's fun, enjoyable stuff to watch. Nobody really wants to watch it. I like how The Dark movie Knight is like, a movie, is like a better movie than it is a Batman movie. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Batman Begins is the superior. Movie. Well, yeah, because it's a Batman movie. <laughs> right, yeah, but the, they this got one was Gotham to be. in that movie. Yeah, they had Gotham City in that movie, anyway. Yeah, and then they Whatever. moved to Chicago somehow, I don't know. But The uh, Force Awakens wasn't bad. Yeah. Um, so um, they, t- they take uh, the Millennium Falcon, which is just sitting on there, a planet. Yeah. yeah. Has been there for like decades. Yeah, apparently or he like got it stolen from somebody who sold it to the guy who's the thing. Yeah, and then and then they escape they into escape, it, and, and then, then they're in space, and like shit starts to break, and yeah, yeah they're like gonna explode. Yep, uh, they get pulled into a carrier freight being yeah. piloted by guess who? Han Solo. It was and Han Solo and Chewbacca. Who gets shot really early on in the movie? Chewbacca. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Well, I mean. We didn't have that shit in the first movies. Well, nobody yeah. ever got hurt. They nobody, always missed. Nobody ever got shot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, well, I mean, you didn't see this movie, but in Return of the Jedi, like Leia got shot. Okay. The, the black, the, 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 the kind of grazed her arm a little bit, but I mean, she got <laughs> shot. Yeah. It's a flesh wound. <laughs> I mean, you kind of got Chewie right there, and that kind of gave Han the excuse to use the bow. 
Which yeah. is such a weird thing. You would never think that like he would use the bow. He never had prior to I that. Know, I know. Yeah. And it was nothing. It was never one of those things where it was like, man, he should use that bow right. sometime. It was just kind of like, oh, we're doing this. Cool. Yeah. And so yeah. they get ambushed by like pirates or something. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in this in this interlude of like monsters and some. Yeah. And then um, they crash. They yeah. leave. Yeah, they they leave. Uh, I don't actually know. Oh no no, they start to go to the thing because Han Solo is going to help them get the droid uh, to the the the, to the, big, the, the rebel base. Rebel, yeah, to the rebel base because he has information on the whereabouts of Luke Skywalker. Spoiler alert: Luke Skywalker has he's just gone. Yeah, he's left. What? <laughs> well, I mean, they, they kind of set it up a little bit better uh, than you know because that was a weird thing to say. Yeah, right at the beginning of the movie, that in the opening text call. Luke Skywalker has vanished. Yeah. Knows where he just is disappeared. For like 30 years. You find out it's because, you know, he trained uh, Han and Leia's son. Yeah. Uh, ben Solo. And then he got seduced by the dark side and started killing all the Jedi that he was trading. And so he decided to go into exile. Mm. Because, I mean, that's what you do when you fail in Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, Obi-Wan did it. Well, Obi-Wan didn't really do it. <coughs> He's a hermit in the mountains. Well, yeah, I know, but the, his whole point... I'm the old man in the mountains! His whole point was, like, because at the end of uh, Revenge of the Sith, they're like, you know, take the boy back to his home planet or whatever for some reason. They just be with his family. I was like, why? Oh, right. Um, and then you do, that happens, and uh, Ben's like... Or Obi-Wan uh, is yeah. like, yeah, I'll, I'll watch over him. It's fine. Uh, so <laughs> that that's how you go into that whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I really, they should really bring him back because I mean he's he's good. And well, he, I mean he did good with what he had. He was one of the less terrible parts of those things. <laughs> Luke Skywalker looked like him. Anyways, uh, well, so they go no, off no. and they're like, he's the Jedi like, are real, and the Hansel was like, everything that you've heard in the stories is real, and I was like, stories. There was like a war. It was like political and shit. Well, like yeah, but I mean, Ray's in the middle of a desert planet. She doesn't know things. Yeah, she's been abandoned by herself Finn's for a clone years or something. Vin is not a clone. The room, he mentions that he was taken from his family and oh, like, that's conditioned right. at a young age to be like a soldier. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I remember the villain saying something that their their soldiers are grown. No, uh, he he specifically says that like they took me from a family I never met and then they trained me to be this thing. No, all right, so that's cool. Yeah, and then he all of a sudden turns hero. And it's weird. Uh, yeah. John Boyega, yeah, he's having so much fun. In Finn the, the human. <laughs> Sorry. Oh God! If somebody doesn't make that joke, it's yeah, a, it's a missed opportunity. Um, I love um, how Finn calls Han Solo the entire movie. Yeah. He's like, did you just call me Solo? I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> well, I mean, you watch interviews and whatever, and like John Boyega is like super. He's like, man, me and the Han, me and uh, uh, Harrison Ford are best friends <laughs> in, in these movies. I mean, like I was talking to him, and he's like, yeah, man, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, and you get the sense, man, that he's he loved making this movie. Like, every, yeah. he's got so much energy. Yeah, just he wanted to be through, there. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen a movie that had this much like care put into it because everybody who's making this movie wants to be there. I agree. Yeah. Especially, you know, the the main three. Yes. The three bills. Yes. Uh which are Ray Finn, Those are the three bills, dude. And uh we're... top billing goes to uh oh. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, should we get so into that real quick, or are we? Going? No, 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 let's just oh, go yeah. through the movie real quick. All right, so they get to the rebel base, and uh, you know, yeah. Ray gets kidnapped by the Kylo. The dark Ren. side. Yeah. The dark side. Yeah. <laughs> Kylo Ren, who's the evil bad guy person. Yeah. Uh, Villain. Yeah. You can tell because he wears black. Yep. <laughs> That's how you tell in these movies. Yeah. <laughs> Black and white. But so yeah, they get they get taken away because uh, Ray finds Luke's old lightsaber because it's calling to her. Yeah, or something. Touch the piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 they do the chosen one thing. Oh my god, that's the second time we made that joke. Oh, the first one was in the first episode of Dino Charge. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's amazing. But they go to this like cantina, right? And they they like. 
there's like a whole spiel about whether or not they should be heroes or whatever. And I was yeah. like, you guys are already here. I mean, yeah. and you all did this of your own accord for no reason. Yeah, yeah that is true. Um, but yeah, she just kind of leaves. Cause, she left. Because and... you're like, your lightsaber, you're calling out to you. This is your destiny. And she's like, nope. Yeah. And she's so like, she, fuck she that. She ditches and she gets, you know, ambushed by Kylo Ren. She tries blasting him and he just kind of is like, nope. Yeah. Didn't go well. That's not gonna happen. And so he he decides to take her because she because instead of going after BB-8, which he's been after this whole movie, yeah. Since she's seen the the map, he thinks he can get it out of her because he can read minds or whatever. Um, because so, the force. Yeah, because the force. Yeah. Uh, and so he goes over. He takes her away, and they're like, no. And so they meet up with. Uh, <laughs> Leia and she's yeah, like and the, the leader of the rebels or something yeah she's like that's what she was doing at uh, at the beginning of what was five called Empire Strikes yes, Back yes Empire Strikes Back and yeah. I'll hit you <laughs> what because we literally this week got a reference to that movie so I don't know oh yeah that. that's right <laughs> we'll so, talk about that later. I don't know how you forget that I didn't um, know but I've anyway, only seen movies one time each. That is true. Yeah, uh, I've seen these movies at least. Do you know how many times I've seen the Lord of the Rings movies? Like twice. Like a lot. <laughs> like twice. Like a ton of times. Because I don't. At least like, four that, times. That has to be like a. You got to plan that out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I used to do that like once every couple of months. Once every couple of months, just take a day and just be like, okay. No, take a couple so, of days and yeah, so be like, yeah. yo, hey, party at my place. Okay, when? Uh, Friday, and then you guys can go home on Sunday. <laughs> Why? We're going to watch the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy. <laughs> Extended cuts. We'll break for food and sleep. Here's every excruciating detail of this production. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. 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 <laughs> you laugh, but it was awesome. Yes, it was awesome. Uh, it was. I, I love those movies. I've not seen the extended editions, but okay. I, don't, I don't think I really need to. So anyway, um, but they back, go back up, to so this movie. Fucking Leia's like, you know, they have. She has this moment with Han. She's like, bring the baby, and then he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and he's like, I'll do that. And so they go up and they. Yeah, because we find out Kylo Ren is actually their son. Yeah. Uh, who's the evil Sith Lord, whatever. Whoa. That was brought up a lot earlier than I thought it was going to. Like, in his second scene, they bring that up. Oh, the, the, oh. the, the droids with your father, Han Solo. They yeah. straight up say your father, Han Solo. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's not like a huge reveal. It's yeah. Like, yeah. It's not like a I am your father moment. It's more like a, yeah, this is a thing. I want to know why they didn't, why they cast Voldemort as the evil overlord dude who's like, I am a hologram. Well, Bring me Peter Pan. Well, I mean, that's Andy Serkis, man. That's Andy Serkis? Oh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> why? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Those... That guy's been trying to latch on to a, a good uh, trilogy for a long time. Well, I mean. Lord of the Rings he, happened. Well, okay. Yeah, you put that <laughs> on that. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, the Planet of the Apes movies haven't gotten a third, but I mean, those oh. movies seem to be going, doing pretty good. I haven't seen the sequel. Um, yeah, me neither. <laughs> With Malfoy. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so no, yeah. he was in the first movie was Malfoy. No, he yeah, was he, in Rise. Was, he, you know, he was in... Because there's that scene where he's like messing with things and while he's in the cage. Uh-huh. And then he decides that he's gonna bust out and whatever. So I, he's the guy who got the lion. That's how you know that he's in the, the, the damn dirty ape. I don't remember that. God damn. It. I don't think I saw that movie then. Oh, okay. <laughs> John Lithgow. Um, yeah, he was in Dexter. Anyway, oh. so there's uh, he was. Yeah, he was. It was cool. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, so they go up to the evil space station. Yeah, you know, like we gotta save Ray. Yeah. All right, like, well, how we're we gonna find her. And she's like, I escaped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that scene. I remember yeah. about that scene where he's like, you know, I'm going to go in there. I need you to cover me or whatever. And he's like, we got to find Ray and blah, blah, blah. And Harrison Ford is like, he's kind of like, she's over there. And he's just, he doesn't get it at all. He's just like, what is this? What does this mean? What does this mean? <laughs> what Speak English to me. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Oh, um, uh, that's great. So they find Ray. She escapes. Uh, they get from, together and then they. She, yeah, she escapes from Kylo Ren because she has force powers. Yeah, force and powers. He wasn't able to to read her mind because she was able to turn it back on. His force powers. And then she, you know, did the Jedi mind trick 
on the the stormtrooper, which she somehow knew about. Yeah, was, I don't know. Uh, there's a whole lot of mystery surrounding Ray. Yeah, um, uh, I feel like good, I feel like she's related to the Ren. I don't. Well, I mean, that depends on how. Because she's a lot waiting of people, for people. A lot of people who left her on a desert. Well, planet. Yeah, but a lot of people are like, she's Luke Skywalker's daughter and such. And other people were like, well, I mean, they might be brother and sister, because, I mean, that was a big thing in the, the expanded yeah, universe. Yeah, that's whatever. what I think is, it is. Uh, um, Kylo Ren is, is Rey's brother. Oh, yeah? I think that's what happened. That just makes sense to me. Yeah, you know, it, it, it just depends on how they're going to do it. I mean, people were pretty, seem pretty set on the whole on Luke Skywalker thing. Yeah, I uh, hope that they don't change the the writing just f- to fit that particular bill. Well, I don't think they will. I, if anything, they'll change the writing just so that doesn't happen. Yeah, it's because like, oh, we did the thing because you thought we were gonna do the thing because you know J.J. Uh, Abrams likes doing that shit. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of cliffhanging at the end of this movie. Yep. Yeah, so uh, there. To be fair, to the there base. was a lot of cliffhanging at the end of Empire. So there's that. Yeah, there was. Yeah. So uh, uh, Finn and Ray are. Just they're watching Han confront Kylo Ren yeah. at a really far distance for some reason. Well, I mean, because they weren't in the room initially. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, because they were. Um, God, I forget what they were doing. Uh, they, they were not. Oh no, doing no, because because Han and Chewie went off to go plant the bombs. Oh, that's right. They were gonna blow that fucking thing down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then you know. And then there's this really odd dialogue exchange between Han Solo and Kylo Ren. And I mean, just, odd. They just kind of say things. Well, I mean, it's weird because it's so goddamn obvious where this is going. Yeah. And, you know, Han's like, I'll help you do whatever you need to. And uh, Kylo Ren, in no fewer words, is like, yeah, but I need to do this really, this thing, and I don't know if I can do it. And I'm obviously thinking he's going to kill you. Right, yeah. Get away from that thing. Have you seen the nostalgia critic for this movie? No. What? Uh, That's hilarious. No, No. he did did the nostalgia critic for this movie. Um because Doug really hated the fact that this was so much like uh, A New Hope. Well, I can see that. I didn't hate the movie for that reason, but... Uh, no, yeah. but he like got so, got that he got so super pissed off. Definitely he still thinks this is a good movie, but he, he didn't think... He, he thought they borrowed from it too much, and that was a problem for him. So mm-hmm. when they do that thing, you know, he's, he did it with Brad, and Brad's like dressed up as Han Solo, and he's... <laughs> He, throughout the entire thing, he's like, oh, I'm going to die in this movie. Like, uh, they meet up with Leia, and she's like, I'm going to go talk to our son. He's like, okay, here's a red shirt. <laughs> I mean, it is an Abrams movie. Um, yeah. But, uh, so he dies. Yeah. And man, Falls into that, a was, that was a lot harder to watch uh, just because of Chewie's reaction to it. Yeah. Chewie has the most <laughs> reaction out of anybody. Yeah. Good Lord, he, he outacts everybody. In that yeah, scene. Holy I shit. Mean, he just kind of goes off and you just understand <coughs> it because, I mean, that's his best friend. Yeah. For like 40 years. <laughs> something <laughs> something stupid. And he watched his, his friend just die right in front of him. And fall into a bottomless castle. He straight castle. up shoots Kylo Ren. And I was like, yeah. yeah. He shot that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then all the everything starts to fucking explode so they all get out and... Yeah, because uh, Poe Tamron, who's the other third new character that we got here, yeah, is leading the the, the people in, in destroying the uh, planet Death Star. Yeah, I believe they call it Star Killer Base. Yeah, which is you know right. an apt name since it sucks the power of a sun out. But I mean, yeah, that's what it requires. Yes. To, yeah, and to I mean, kill it requires that planet. much processing power. Uh, yeah. But, uh, so they decide they're going to just leave because the whole planet's place is coming apart. Yeah, Julie Kylo Ren, gets blown somewhere else. Well, I mean, and Ray and, he detonates the bombs, Finn. right? And I, I was thinking, man, he's gone. That's yeah, he's going Chewie. down with the ship. That's the end of Chewie. And then, like, so, uh, Ray and uh, Finn are running and Kylo Ren's chasing him out. Yeah. And he, he gets in a lightsaber duel with Finn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It does not go well. Uh, no, no, not man. Any <laughs> Finn gets his ass kicked. Yep, he sliced up his back. Yeah, sliced up his back, and that guy's. I don't know if that guy's dead, but. Uh, <laughs> he's not dead. Yeah, he's just he in, in a coma. He was in the it's, sick bay or something. Fine. Yeah. It was weird, because uh, I was like, man, he then, probably killed you. But Ray I mean, uses yeah. her force powers to pick up the, the lightsaber. And, they duke it out. Yeah. Pretty, it was actually pretty man, cool. I, I never thought I would see a uh, like a really good lightsaber battle. Yeah. In a long... Because, like, I mean, the prequels, I mean, you, 
sure, the ones in Revenge of the Sith, they're fine. Uh, just in terms of like emotionality, but I mean, they're so well, like, there's so much flipping going on. Yeah. This one is just like... Well, um, it's Yoda. Yeah. Well, I mean, you get that between uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin at the end of the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and then right. it ends really dumb. Oh, God, okay, I'm sorry. No, 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 I got, no, no. I got a rant no, it's fine. on that movie. It's okay. So they go off and, then, you know, everybody goes back to the base and yeah. Finn's on a table. They're yeah. like... Well, I mean, because we gotta, we each have our own destiny, and they have like this ending monologue that they have to go into, and then yeah, Ray leaves. Well, because Ray was so she defeated Kylo Ren because I mean she gets back into a corner, and he's like, I can change you in the way of the Force, and she's like, Oh, the Force, and so she she quiets her mind, and she's able to kick his ass, and it's pretty awesome. She's got his face super bad. (laughs) Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna keep that. I'd imagine that they would. Um, Maybe. And then she, all of a sudden Chewie shows up in the Millennium Falcon to rescue them. Oh, that's them. right, yeah, because yeah. the planet's, like, exploding. And then they get back on the planet. She hugs Leia uh, for reasons. Because, and, you know, set up foreshadowing. I don't know, man. And then all of a sudden R2 comes back online. And he's like, I got the rest of the map. Uh, oh, yeah. So then they find out where Luke is, and Ray decides that she's going to go alone. yeah. Uh, Nobody else went and with her. Leia not, somehow not, thought this was a good idea. Yeah, not Leia, not Chewie, not anybody. Yeah, decided to go um, with her. She straight up says goodbye to Finn, and I was like, man, because they kind of yeah. they have like some sort of romance. You remember in Lord of the Rings oh, God. when uh, Mary and Pippin got split up, and they, yeah, that that was supposed to be that moment, and that's I got to be honest was. with you. Tell me. I don't remember some of that. Oh. I remember the whole thing with Mary kicking ass with that one chick and how they destroyed the Witch King. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, because Pippin's doing the thing with, with the guy, the Duke. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, right. And does the song and whatever. And yeah. put them up because of reasons. Yeah, um, because it's heart wrenching. It's weird it. because you never see those guys reunite. No, you don't. Not until the end, the end of the, the movie. No, no, no. You don't even see that. I mean, they just kind of come in the room and they're together. Like, yeah. You don't see them be like, so how's it been, man? <laughs> so what was, what did you do? How did you almost die? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Ray yeah. leaves. She goes to yeah. this rock. It's not an island. It's just a rock in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, she finds Luke Skywalker. And who's just been Ooh. standing there <laughs> brooding at this one flower. <laughs> like the I don't whole think it's time. one flower. Uh, I, think that, I think the idea is supposed to be that like he sensed that she was there. And so he like got in position. Right, like, right. He like put his yeah. This is gonna be super epic when they find <laughs> him here. Uh, and she he turns around and she holds out the lightsaber. Uh, and, yeah, and the thing ends like yeah. six times. Like it cuts to him and he's like yeah. in the hood, and then it cuts back to her, yeah. and then you think it's gonna end, and then it cuts back to him and he brings the hood down, and then it cuts back to her again. And you think it's gonna end, yeah, and will. then it like cuts to a helicopter shot of the whole island and everything. And then well, I mean, that's an impressive location. You had to show it off. Well, I, yeah, I guess. Probably the Lord of the, the Rings did it better. And then they, she holds oh, up yeah. the lightsaber. And did you remember the scenery in that movie? And she holds up the <laughs> lightsaber, and he just kind of, like, stares at it like nobody told him what to do. Yeah. Like, do I grab it? Do I have a line here? And <laughs> well, then you get the dude the, has, like... All the like, direction they gave him was, like, just look epic. And just yeah, take, just off, take, the hood take off. off the hood super epically. And then, like, right in the middle of the scene, JJ was like, okay, hold... <laughs> camera shot, camera shot, camera, camera shot, shot, camera shot, shot, camera shot, shot, yeah. shot. For like five minutes, and yeah. then he's like, okay, cut. Yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. yeah. Uh, so it, it was also super weird to see J.J. Abrams' name at the end of this movie. That was yeah. that was something I didn't think would throw me off, but it did. Poof. This movie, it was okay. Yeah, yeah. all in all. I really enjoyed this movie as far as like it's a Star Wars movie. I acknowledge... It has flaws because well, I mean, again, you got pacing issues and a whole lot of script issues where people say things that they don't need to be said, like the whole thing with Ma and how she's like, "Where's my boyfriend?" And Chewie's fixing the ship, and he's like, "I like that Wookiee." You didn't need that line. Yeah, you really didn't. Like, well, yeah, but she's like the funny. She's the comedic relief. Comedic relief. She's the Yoda in this movie. No, don't lie to me. She's not Yoda. She does the destiny thing. Yeah, She's Yoda. Touch the piece. Yeah. Anyways, Thanks so for, this movie thanks, was fine. Thanks for ruining that. Thing. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I didn't think about it until just now. Yeah, it's no, kind of like the Black Panther. It's thing. super hilarious. Anyway, yeah, we're not talking. So about yeah, it. we're not going to talk about that. But we did see a, a trailer. Well, right before we saw that movie. Yes. Uh, for Assassin's Creed. Yes. The Assass- movie. Assassin's Starring Creed. Starring Michael movie. Fassbender. Yes. 
As well, an odd person. choice. Re- well, I mean, he's kind of hot right now. He, well, Granted, I mean, the last thing he did was Macbeth, but I mean, come on. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, well, no, I haven't. But yeah, it's just fun. It's whatever. He's a great actor. The last thing all, he did was Apocalypse, saying, Apocalypse, but whatever. He killed it. What do you mean, Apocalypse? That movie X-Men. just came out. Yeah, that's the last thing he did. Oh. <laughs> that's not fair. Nobody's Boom. seen that movie. That's probably Except true. for, like, critics at press well, screenings. I was going to say, critics have seen it, but everybody's, like, out of money since Batman v <laughs> Superman, also Civil War. But nobody saw Batman vs. Superman. So. Well, I mean, people saw it probably initially. I mean, you saw <coughs> the giant box office dropout. We're not here to Yeah, talk we're not about, here to talk about we're that. We're not here to Assassin's talk about Assassin's Creed that. looks funny. Yeah, I mean, the story is cool and whatever, and it's like the games and the arm blades were super cool to see it in live action. It looks like the but video game. You get into the like the whole thing with, and everybody looks computer generated. Well, do you know like, you do know some about the Assassin's Creed like lore, right? No. Well, right. I know some things. This is what I played like half up. of the half of the third game or something. Oh, okay. The third game that came out, not not Assassin's Creed Three, like Brotherhood. Oh, okay. I played uh, like I played like half of that game. Some of uh, uh, black, mask, black flag, black flag, yeah, black mask. Is different. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, black flag was actually a lot of fun, but uh, it was the the ship steering bits were no, cool. No, no, but the, Assassin's I, Creed One, this is what I got from that game. You play like a, a like a secret agent who goes on un, like undercover back in time. Yeah, he assumes the ro- roles of his ancestors from the past. Yeah, which are a League of Assassins, apparently. Right, but it's like a computer program, so it doesn't actually do anything. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I think the idea is supposed to be that he's supposed to absorb all their skills. Oh, and then all man. of a sudden when he comes back, he's I will to be the ass. one. Yeah, yeah. I know Kung Fu. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Okay, well, uh, the, I they, was never a fan of these games. No, I mean, uh, the idea is cool. to start, and then yeah. all of a sudden you just kind of like, well, I mean, this is super repetitive. The mechanics are, like, choppy and yeah. Blech. It, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, and they get worse. Um, but this movie, it strikes a chord because everything just looks computer generated. Yeah, it looks like the Polar Express. I guess it's fine considering the whole thing's a simulation anyway. But I mean, I mean it was just distracting for me. Cause like I mean, Tron was computer generated. That's so that, true. And that but didn't that, look that like that. That was super stylized though. And also you had young Jeff Bridges in that movie. Duh. I haven't seen this movie. Um, <laughs> you haven't seen Tron? I, I just saw those trailers. as called oh. Tron Uprising. Oh, okay. Is that what that movie was called? I don't know. No, it's just called Tron I Legacy. No, it's like Legacy, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I couldn't remember what what that yeah, subtitle was. Was uh, Olivia Wilde? Yeah, um, that's all I got. <laughs> she but was I in mean, the movie. You get it super stylized though, because I mean, this whole full of neon and cool and crazy. Yeah. This isn't supposed to be stylized. It's just like this is the past. But it you can know? be though. It, I know it can be, but it's just like everybody looked computer generated. Like when I saw that trailer, I thought I was watching like a trailer for Warcraft. I thought it was the video game. I, yeah, I, I really did. I mean, it's not a like, problem. It just was distracting. Even for me Warcraft's that graphics are better than that. Yeah, is what I'm, is what I'm getting. We've at. come a long way since Aragon. Yeah. Don't watch that. Movie. Okay, all right. I keep hearing that people are like, "Don't watch Aragon." Whatever. God. Aragorn. It's it's a new hope. Is that movie? The entire goddamn thing. Wow. They wow. ripped off Star Wars so hard. Oh man. Oh fuck! Yeah. I haven't, I haven't to the point books. where I was like reciting lines from that movie <laughs> while watching it. He's like, oh, and they made lead them back home. Oh god! <laughs> it's the same guy. Like uh, for Jeremy Irons played Ben Kenobi. It's like, yes. Uh, I want to see Batman v Superman for that oh, reason. Oh, well, for Jeremy Irons reasons. Okay. And also, uh, well, everybody's pretty much on the same consensus, or at least from what I've been hearing. Uh, well, well, we'll get into that later. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll Next watch week, that movie. We have so much to talk about. We have a lot episode. to talk about. Uh, we about actually did episode. quite a bit, but we, we felt we owed it to you guys since... Because uh, we finally yeah, fucking we did finally, it. We finally completed watching every single like season of this show. All of them. And, yes. and it took and, us a long time. It and, took us the better part of a year, I think, to finally get oh caught Oh, God. I, I don't even know if that... like When did I get the second box set? That, that was I've, probably when we started this. Yeah. Uh, just re-watching everything. Yeah, starting to start to finish. Great, yeah. But, um, yeah, so we finally finished them. We yeah. haven't talked about all of them. Not all of them. But, but we, we'll we thought it would through. be fun to go ahead and just rank them. Yeah. From best to worst. 
Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, I think it would be super fun. Best is kind of a hard toss-up for us. But, uh, but we don't did, lie to me. We did, com- we did, you know... We came to a compromise. Yeah, we came to a compromise with this list. Uh, but um, we did go about it. Just, you know... We're gonna, co- we are going to go best to worst. Is, compl- collaborating is the word I was looking for. Yeah, you know, we're, we're collaborating on this. Collaborate this list together. So here are our picks for the... Uh, the rankings, the, for, the Power rankings for Power Rangers from best to worst. Yeah, best, obviously, number one, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Yeah, Man, yeah. we talk about this show so goddamn much. I know. And, all, and like, all good things. We never say it, anything negative about this show. Well, I mean, we started to, and then we actually, you know... We did, yeah. We we, yeah. we, we were both really skeptical about this show going I mean, into it. Because Dominic is a thing that exists, and I mean, he's not super done well. But, I mean, when you see when the show hits hard, yeah, uh, you kind of just are like, I mean, it could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been way worse. Yeah. It could have been the um, worst, but it wasn't. It was the also, best. Also, among the... Among the the, the the better picks like they're not, they haven't all had great six rangers <laughs> uh, okay yeah yeah we had a pretty good sixth ranger for um one of the of the two or three okay. one, whatever, whatever we haven't we weren't able to choose a second or third spot so yeah. tied for second and third <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, because it was just going to... I have to rewatch uh Both of these, man. I have to, yeah, I have to we rewatch watch both, both of these again. Um, we should watch both. Okay, uh, but we have Time Force uh, paired off against RPM. Yeah. Mainly because we couldn't figure out which one is better. I have to rewatch RPM again. Yeah. I think Time Force is glorious. I, I love but Time Force. It I think has it, great characters. I think it kind of crumbles under the weight of its own, like, grand, grandeur. Just Time because, Force? Just because, I mean, you got 40 episodes, and they really didn't need that much. No, there's a lot of filler in that show, I'll yeah. give you that. I mean, there's not a, there's not like a ton. There's like, some. It's not like, you know, Ninja Overdrive. Storm. Uh, but there's, there's, <coughs> like, there's like bits where you're just like, well, I mean, that wasn't needed. You can skip this episode. Right. Uh, for RPM, it's more along the lines of like... You end the world stuff. You've never so, seen a Power Rangers show like that's, this. That's true. And so that, that's, the, what, that's what really it holds it up for me is how... Just unique it is not yeah. not only from like a Power Ranger standpoint, but from like a superhero standpoint. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is what would happen if Power Rangers went met up against fucking Skynet. Yeah. It's cool, and they do actually do it justice. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I I think you know probably would give it to number two just based like on a structural because I mean. Between RPM and Jungle Fury, probably I mean Jungle Fury is obviously better because it's a more tightly yeah, it's a better written story. Most, yeah, yeah, a better written story. That's a good. It point. is. It is. Um, it's a better written story with some better characters. I I I, has, I say some, but Gem and Gemma are really they're they're cool. Because <laughs> they're super annoying, but God damn it. Well, I mean, because you get into the because they have a direct link to Doctor K, and that's a yeah. thing. Yeah, that's you know? like an arc for them. Yeah, yeah. And I also love how you buy <coughs> everybody knows how to use these powers yeah. because of their background. Like Scott is a friggin' soldier, and so he knows how to fight a guy. A friggin' uh, Finn has had police Flint. training. Flynn has had police training. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. And Fireman training because the dude's a hero. Or, yeah, Summer has you know she's she's she, she you know took a classes or shift. something. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know you get Gem and Gemma who you wouldn't think, but I mean they were the testers of the suits originally, so right. of course they would. Yeah. So um, and then you got Dylan who we didn't he's shouted. a robot. Yeah. So that's why yeah. he's. The... And then it really <sighs> makes the whole thing with Ziggy kind of work though. Yeah, because he a, doesn't know. Yeah, how he's to an, fight. he's out of place. Like whenever he really goes. Hard. Whenever he goes into it, you just he's just kind of like, whoa, what am I yeah. going to do? He doesn't have really fight scenes. He has dodge scenes. Yeah. Where he uh, just, like, moves. But, I mean, he kind of grows into it. You get into it and, you know, the whole thing about, you know, super, superhero dialogue and whatever. Yeah. His interaction with anybody works <laughs> yeah. in this show. Like, oh, my God. It's pretty cool. Um, to the point where I think he might be the best actor there. Ah, no. But Olivia oh, Tennant is still in the fucking show. That's true. <laughs> Olivia Tennant is in the fucking show. Yeah. That is so true. Yeah, I was like, oh, sorry, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, I mean, I was, I was mainly focusing on the <laughs> Rangers. On the Rangers. So you, gotta, you gotta bring that up. And yeah, up. well, you said in the show, and I was like, no, I'm no. sorry, Nick. That can't um, happen. Admittedly, uh... Vinjik's not a not a super complex villain. No, but he's ruthless as fuck. Well, yeah, because he likes he's a to robot. kill motherfuckers. Though. Because he's a robot. Yeah. Um, 
So I would think that He's not in with the shit villain like department, pain. probably Time Force does it better because we, we get more complex villains with backstories and blah, blah, blah. Also, yeah. you know, Jen and versus Rancic and all that works. Yeah, all that stuff works, but Time Force also suffers from background ranger syndrome. I know. We get three rangers who don't do a whole lot in the show. RPM, everybody's kind of involved, like, the whole well, time. I mean, the thing with Jim and Flynn, or Jim and Flynn, and that doesn't... That was, like, a filler uh, episode one time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a filler one time. Well, I mean, you know, you get the budget cuts for Disney, and they kind of yeah, trimmed off all eight that episodes. Shit. Uh, so, I mean, there's that. Yeah. So, but, we weren't sure who to put in the second or third spot. But you, I think it, it was You guys good. can vote on that. Yeah. I think it was good to just bring, you know, some... Give some pros to Time Force, because Time Force is really no, good. No, Time Force like, is the, a the good The stuff show. that it nails, it nails super great. I agree. Um, like, the, the whole thing with Jen and Wes and blah. Yeah, blah, and blah, Eric's stuff. relationship with Wes and Wes's relationship with his dad. Yeah, dude, like, it's great. Yeah. Uh, just to watch those scenes. And the Tommy is just other things. Playing just circuit. Gonna, but, um... Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. So... I <laughs> forgot about that. So, yeah. Um, but so, I mean, it's, it's, it's super fun, but like we couldn't really you know put, pick one over yeah. the other, primarily because really I got to rewatch it. Uh, if I rewatch it, I'm like, yeah, that brings it over, they'll bring yeah. it up. But for right now, they're both kind of like there. Yeah, they're both so, right there. Well, they, they, we are, they're subject to change. Right? So we have uh, number four, four which uh, is uh, in space. It kind of brought down just a little bit. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, because you, you, you brought up the point that, like, you know, as a season, it's not... As good, um, yeah, uh, it's still it's good. It's still good. It's still but really good. You you kind of but you need everything from MMPR, everything from Zio. You don't really yeah. need Turbo. Oh, you need and you need Chase into Space. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Oh, that's yeah, that, yeah that's good, good point. Uh, you you do need Chase into Space, and you do kind of need uh, the power transfer in order to make all that all that work. Yeah. Um, I believe that's that's the two parter. I haven't seen, oh, I haven't seen Turbo in a while. Yeah, um, but uh, that show's hard to get through. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not uh, it's not that hard to get through. Not like well, I mean, sh- anyways, never mind. Sh- never mind. Uh, well, well, so uh, that's why you know you kind of get it wrong for me. I mean, it still gets points for yeah. you know being the first time. This is as far as they went. At the time, like yeah. in, in 1998, this was the farthest and darkest thing that we could do, and this was definitely like a like a way to end the Zordon era. No, definitely, and it was nice to tie everything together. Yeah. Um, and but really... I, I I do agree with you that you know from this point they kind of realized where they could go, and without this, you couldn't get stuff like Time Force or Jungle Fury. or Jungle Fury. Yeah. RPM. Admittedly, RPM kind of just takes. Yeah, that, that was its own thing. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have happened regardless. Yeah, well, just yeah. because of the the, the uh, show we're in we're initially. Um, yeah, because right. his straight up plan was, oh, we're doing this story regardless of what the Zentai is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so anyway, so yeah, Space is a good show. It's just you know yeah. not as good as any of the other three that yeah. we previously. Yeah, I mean, mentioned. you get the great finale <coughs> and the great first episode. Yeah, and even the stuff with you know Andros and his sister and Ecliptor and them yeah. and you Ecliptor get a lot of really versus cool stuff, but uh, what is you it, also Dark get a whole Honda? lot. Of, uh, the same thing you said about uh, Time Force. Yeah, it had a whole bunch of episodes that it just yeah. didn't need. It didn't I don't, know I don't really know what if, to do. If, with. I don't know if it didn't. I I I, I disagree that it, it has as much you know dead air as as Time Force does. Admittedly, I'm gonna have to rewatch yeah. it, yeah. but I mean, they're always going towards a goal. We gotta find space has Zordon, pretty so. badass villains, though. I know. including but not limited to the Psycho Rangers. Oh yeah, the so, Psycho Rangers. I the forgot psych- about the Psychos. Yeah. they are legit. I want to see the Psycho we Rangers. We have not done this. Fight the Masters. Goodness, man! Like the Spirit Rangers. Can we oh, get the, dude, that fight. Who would win in a dude, fight? That, that would straight up be like. You know, Daishi versus the Fear Cats. I, I imagine it's the same fight. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Um, well, but, yeah. Space Space is good. It has yeah, great elements. Space is good. With good characters. But, but again, from, you know, you, you need that in order to get stuff that's as, you know, pitch perfect as something like Jungle Fury or uh, Time Force. Yeah. At least in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, Which is not to say that uh, this show wasn't like a front runner for what sci-fi could do mm-hmm. um it just 
scratched the surface, yeah. basically. And it was very much like a science fiction show, but for kids, yeah. you know? It was yeah. like Star Trek, but for kids with yeah, Power Rangers. that's a good point. Yeah. I mean, it is a lot like Star Trek, now that I think about it. Yeah, it um, really is. So, <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. That's not Star Trek. Nope. <laughs> it's close enough. It's, yeah, that's fine. And the number five spot goes to SPD Emergency. Yeah. We, oh, uh, SPD is a great show. SPD is a good show. Uh, um, I, I knocked it down a couple notches because Boom didn't get a suit. And uh, that was a lot of bullshit. And okay, first of all. I can't believe I, they would do that okay, to him. Okay, so here's what happened. Tell me. So after seeing what, ha- what Kelson does later in later seasons... With the whole Phineas and the fighting and whatever yeah. and everything else that happens, I agree with you. He should have gotten sued. Yeah, uh, that would have been super awesome. It would have been like the the Ziggy thing before the Ziggy thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. but they, they weren't ready to give that guy a morpher yet. Yeah, uh, I mean, I I still kind of buy it because of how they they left his character. But I mean, it would have been so cool to see. Yeah, regardless. I know. Um, but the he should have been the Cat Ranger. I don't know if you could make that work. Oh, yeah? Casey was a fucking tiger. That's not the same thing. <laughs> That's not the same thing, though. It's not. I mean, I mean no, because I'm just saying like, that, that the Sentai suit is definitely a woman's suit. So, I mean, you can't... Oh, fuck you and your woman's suits. I mean, you can't... With your heels and your God. skirts. Your boob socks. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly my point. You can't make that work. Um, no, just reshoot the footage. No, 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 absolutely. Uh, if you're going to do it, just then do it. Yeah. But, I mean... Uh, you know, it I bothers they, me they because they had, had a they, ranger with they, no fucking face. Boom yeah. could have been the Omega Ranger. No, no, no. And that would have been <sighs> infinitely more interesting than what we did with the Omega Ranger. Yeah. But, I mean... It's just kind of there. It's is bothersome. The Omega ranger. And so is, so is Boom at a point. It's just kind of there. Yeah, they don't use merge. him effectively. It's very irritating. Yeah. Kelson got um, But still, I mean, the, for the good points of the show, you get the whole conflict between Sky and Jack and yeah. how all these people were just kind of playing off each other. And they're all different people. They're it's, really it's good great. people, too. Yeah. But, like, not necessarily like good people, but good characters. Yes. Like, these characters all work and they, you know, they all mesh together. They feel like they've known each other for a long time. Yeah. It's fucking weird. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, yeah. So that's and why then you get the whole thing, which is like the second, uh, second Psycho Rangers thing with the A Squad and whatever. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. with weird shit. Anyway. Evil Power Rangers. Uh, yeah, you're evil Rangers rad. for this. Oh, season. We didn't even talk about the, the Masters and Jungle Fury, but I mean, they're, they're, <coughs> we talked about it before. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's come up quite a few times. That's true. Yeah. I mean, you, that, that's kind of like a Psycho Rangers type of thing, except under mind control, and it's a completely different thing. Yeah, yeah. no. That's more like so, you know, Robo Knight versus the the Mega Force. Did we get Evil Rangers in number six? In what is number six? Lost Galaxy. Lost Galaxy. I don't think we did. No, I don't think we did. But Lost uh, Galaxy is we, I mean, we got we got the Magnet Defender. We did, yeah. That dude's an anti-hero. He's just Batman the whole time. Well, he's the Punisher. He's, yeah, he's the Punisher. He's the, with he, a shotgun. Yeah, he walks around with a shotgun. That dude is... <laughs> he's fueled by vengeance for the death of his family, and he carries a shotgun. Yep. That's the Punisher. <laughs> yeah, it's rad. Space uh, Punisher. It's cool. Yeah. And uh, His suit also looks awesome. I wanted yeah. to mention this, because I, I didn't mention this when we talked about Die Ranger. But am I wrong in assuming that they, like, got a Die Ranger morpher, painted it gray, and then turned it into the Magnet Defender morpher? Probably. Because it's the same thing. Like, the, the yeah. whole flipping out of the whatever, doing the thing. Like, yeah. it's the same thing. It may be. I mean... Because, I mean, those morphers originally are, like, black. Uh, the Lost Galaxy morphers... The, the Galaxy morphers are the same. They just have the dial yeah, on them. Yeah, they have the dial yeah. on them. Yeah, which they don't utilize. Which is really think, better. I think it's because the they got them before they like figured out how they worked, and they were like, yeah, "This is a button." Yeah, this is this is obviously the button. No. What my, what bothers me about it is that they changed it in light speed. The, oh, the yeah, they changed yeah. it to the dial, which doesn't make any sense for anybody who watched that show. Nah. I, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yes, you did. Yeah, I saw it. Yes, <laughs> you did. Yeah, I wish that I was I the whole point of this. Um, so yeah, Lost Galaxy is number six. It's a yeah. strong number six. It's got you know yeah. good characters, and it was really the first show on its own for Power Rangers. Yeah. Like yeah, it had really... to create its own story with its own characters. Yeah, and... but admittedly, we did gotta go backtrack with Corona uh, and whatever. Fuck you! And also, we also got bulk for for 
Yeah, yeah that, that's true. With Professor, uh, we we also uh, you know did the first major character death. In, yeah, that's that was the other thing I was gonna say. Yeah. I put t- uh, Lost Galaxy kind of high on the list because it did kill our first character. Not only yeah. our first character, but our first fucking ranger. Yeah, that's one of those things that you look at. And you're just like, what? She she turned into a yeah. She just yeah. her coming back at the end doesn't make any sense. I mean, it, admittedly, nobody dies but, in Power Rangers. Yeah, nobody dies in Power Rangers. So uh, they really should have kept her dead, uh, given what happens later, especially with the whole legend yeah. Battle thing. No, don't admittedly don't I, read too much. I that. hate the legend battle, but I mean, mm-hmm. if you're gonna put Corona there, then I mean, you have to you have to have her be the Pink Ranger going forward. It bothers me. But anyway, so Lost Galaxy is number six. Uh, MMPR is actually number seven. Yes, MMPR. My Morphin Rangers. <laughs> and it seems kind of low. Yeah. You, you think. But I mean. But this show, you can't. It, it's a little bit dated, first of all. It is. I mean, but there's a the good stuff charm- is still good. Yeah. yeah. Like, Green with Evil is awesome. Anything the, the Green is- Ranger. The awesome. mutiny kicks ass. Still horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no matter how many times I hear that goddamn Babu line. Oh, really? Yeah. What's that Babu line? The chamber changes with Lord Zed's mood. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. We didn't use that at all. Nope. <laughs> it was just a thing that, that they were like colors, they, and all of a sudden this dude came at the end of play. Yeah. It was weird. And then Satan rose up out of nowhere. Yeah. It was It was cool. Uh, uh, Tommy fighting Lord Zed was <coughs> super we awesome. We have all of these really awesome characters, and they kind of have the nostalgia factor for us, but they're still, you know... Yeah. I don't know if, if you can say that these characters are timeless, because they're very 90s. No, no, they, they definitely are, especially when you get, you, you know, possibly Pizza Baby. Yeah. It's a line that's frequently used. <laughs> I've seen that show so many times. Oh, my God. Uh, but, like, yeah, you get stuff like that, and, you know, Bulk says specifically in an episode, you know, I was trying to make it 90s. Yeah. <laughs> This, oh, this show took a while to get off the ground, and so yeah. when it finally did, you know, we were happy well, to see I mean, it. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say it took a while to get off the ground. Nobody wanted to buy it. Well, yeah, Nobody wanted but to put I mean, it, on the air. it was still super successful until the Green Ranger stuff happened. I think that they just kind of were like, oh, no, there's a sixth Ranger. What are we going to do? And then they, they kind of created a story around it. All of a sudden, they have Mythos, and, you know, yeah. they run with it. Yeah. For the most part. And Green Ranger versus the White Ranger is such a cool fight. Yeah. I mean, it's so awesome. We get to see that fight. Yeah. Uh, along with, you know, some other fights and shit in, in you know, yeah. number eight, Dino Thunder. Dino Thunder. Yeah, where Tommy yeah. fights all of them. Yeah, we kind of had to rank these uh, just kind of weirdly. Uh, Dino Thunder is okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's we, the thing is that you have your really good seasons and you have your really, like, shit seasons. There's no, like, happy medium. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say I would say this is probably as close as a happy medium as we can get. Yeah. Um, just because I mean it doesn't do anything that's like super awesome, you know. Yeah, but it doesn't but, suck. Yeah. And it, it I mean, really the there's, stuff an, it does there's an episode stuff where cool. we just spend the entire time watching a Sentai episode. Yes. From Dino Thunder. Mm-hmm. With uh, and from Abba Ranger yeah. with uh, Blake yeah. playing. <laughs> that was super weird. <laughs> it was fucking weird. Uh, oh man, I knew I like I recognized that voice after watching the season of that guy talking about Hunter. Yeah, like, it's just you know I knew that I heard that voice somewhere before. Yeah, and it was so super weird. Like they they actually called him up and was like, hey, did you do it? it wasn't like they like took somebody's fan dub and was like, yeah. I don't think Dino Thunder reached its full potential. It didn't. I I, um, I mean I, I'll agree to that. I mean there's not as much as many parallels drawn as they probably should have. It been. should have been like a passing of the torch moment. Yeah, absolutely. Between Tommy and, it, and if the you're other gonna have members. Tommy there, then yeah, that's definitely what you use it for. But, yeah. I mean it's not terrible. Like, it's the, not the stuff with uh, Mercer and. Mezagog, yeah. that, horrifying that is like shit. Lord Zed level horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh god, it's frightening. Yeah. Anyway, and that dude was actually in the suit. He, he talks about it, like being in the, uh, in the actual suit. How yeah. it was so hot and uncomfortable being, but he looked so cool. <laughs> yeah. He talks about it. Like, like, you sit in the chair and just felt awesome. Like, like, I own all of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's how you gotta be with the villain, man. Yeah, I know. And Mezagog is, uh, you know, he's a much better villain than. Some of the other goddamn villains that we we'll get into. into. Um, um, so, yeah, Dino Thunder is number eight. We ranked MMPR and Dino Thunder both above Dino Charge, which is number nine. Yeah. Um, I mean, Dino Charge is fine. Uh, yeah, it's it, fine. It's super fun. I mean, it, I, I, it, it had a really strong beginning. It strikes <laughs> a good balance between 
being you know super <coughs> exciting and also being like semi story driven with the stuff that happens with Tyler. Well, it's real we are character driven. Like individual seasons, like we're not talking about super in this. We're just yeah, we can't about, we can't yeah. include the supers. Yeah, we're not uh, including super here. Primarily because it's not over, and we don't have that that big of a fighter yeah. opinion on this one. Right, uh, yeah. For that show, so we're just going to wait until it's over to rank it. Yeah. Um, but as of right now, Dino Charge uh, gets the, uh, I guess, bronze medal in the Dino seasons. Yeah. Um, it's because, the third. I mean, it's, it's, strong it's third. fine. You, you get stuff like, you know, these these actors are really good, and these characters, you know, are You get very, stuff like Return very, of the Caveman. Yeah, Return of the Caveman. Is legit and it's legit, you, yeah. And you get you stuff get like Sir Ivan, and Sir Ivan's just cool, man. Admittedly, that character's not as deep as you probably would like him to be, yeah. but he's still super cool. Yeah, man. and then I was captured. Eight hundred years later, you save me, and here I am. Yeah, yeah. God, man, Dobby's having so much fun doing that. Yeah, um, it's cool. Yeah, um, he does a superhero voice, except you know he's like Thor, especially with the whole lightning thing. You know, lightning yeah. boat. It's so rad, man. Lightning strike or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And the stuff with Tyler is really super, you know, heavy. Like when we get to episode ten, he's like, "My father might be trapped inside his body." Yeah, it gets like super heavy for like a moment. Yeah, for a <laughs> for a little while. Yeah, yeah. And then you know the stuff with the gem story arcs are really good. You get your Shelby moments, which was a great character. Was a great character. Well, I I still contest she is a great character. They kind of shafted her a little bit at the beginning of Supercharge with the whole, "Oh no, I'm a love stick again." She's not gonna. Bounce back from but, this. Well, I think she might. It just depends on what they do with her. Because I mean, I didn't hate the thing with her father. I mean, it no. was contrary to what happened previously. Yeah. But ultimately, for what they did, but, I didn't hate it. I don't know why they had to get Colonel Truman. It doesn't make any well, sense. Well, I mean, because it was cool. But why? Like and Shelby's why? like this episode, this season here. This it wasn't was bad. I'm just wanting to know why. Because Shelby and Scott... And that's and not the thing that's no, going... No, they're straight... They're moving the, on. They're the same character. So, di- just I, a different This universes. is the medium, I think, for us. Okay. All right, number 10, Alien Rangers. Alien Rangers. Alien Rangers, I think, is a good medium. Because it's not good, it's not bad, it just well, exists. Well, I, I think it's because it doesn't go as far as... It, it's an it arc. doesn't have time. Yeah, yeah it doesn't have arc. time to do anything. It's an arc, and you kind of just kind of go with it, like the Zeo Rangers and doing their quests and whatever, and that's... That's fine, and the alien creatures are super cool. Yeah. Primarily because I like ninjas, if anybody figured that out. Powers of water, powers of flight, God, powers of night. It's, it's cool. so awesome when it's they cool. do it. And what's weird is that like I was watching the, the, the live show on the DVD for the MMPR live show. And oh, right. I swear to you, like every single time... Like the the way they beat the villains and like every set piece is the power of water, the power of light, the powers unite, you know. It's oh, so, yeah. It's so rad. Cool. Um, so... But, yeah. like, I love doing that, the whole thing with the sword. I mean, admittedly, you know, Sentai and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that, that's a Sentai motion. But, sure. I mean, they, they make it work with the whole, you know, aliens, rangers, of backwards are full power and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, and, and, you know, them as characters, they don't really give that much to shine because, again, they don't have time for that. Yeah, they, uh, they just, they but, don't have anything that they can do. And it's right in the middle of goddamn MMPR season three. It's right, right at, at the, the end. end, yeah. Yeah, so we got to tie a whole bunch of shit together. So, yeah, number 10, Alien Rangers. Yeah. Number 11 jumps over to, this is where we start to get teetering. Yep. Uh, Wild Force, um, which Wild Force isn't terrible. No, um, it's not. Um, it, never it give up, Wild Force. Don't you ever. Don't you ever give up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make fun of that so hard. Yes. <laughs> that show, okay, so that the, the show is very, like, lightly written. There's no yeah. influence on it whatsoever. They just create conflict. You played a wrong note. You must hate me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta remember that. Oh, man. You gotta remind me of that. Yeah. Wow. Well, because you was, forgot. Yeah, I did forget. I, primarily because you were like, this is light and fun, but then we also got Danaku. Yeah, we, yeah. And that was the point where that I, like, dude dipped. Is like, Black War Greymon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, he is Black War Greymon. The... Like, he's created out of darkness to destroy the Rangers, and then he's like, why? Yeah, well, that's what Black or Greymon did. Like, why he he was more along the lines of "You're not worth it" because he kicks their ass. Like, oh, that's oh, right. God. He was yeah. like, "Nah," yeah. <laughs> just leaves. He's like, well, "Oh, this is so easy. I'm not even gonna bother with you people." I don't even feel good about this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even feel good about this, man. Yeah, I, I don't know what. Yeah. Um, but and you get stuff like that and the whole thing with, you know, Master Borg and all yeah, that. Yeah, but you also get all of the Zords. 
Yeah. Fucking all of them. This is this is. Did you the, know it was sponsored by Hasbro? Yeah. This is one of those you know buy the toys type of seasons. Yeah. Because I mean, uh, Time Force doesn't feel like that. Jungle Fury. Yeah, not really. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 I was never it, a fan the, of the, the Zord. Only, though. The only reason I say not really is because of the Battleizer. But I mean, other yeah, than okay. that, everything else is just kind of you know there for a reason. Flit. Anyway. Yeah. I like that. Like they show, like they did a flit. Would you buy a flit, like you know, Funko Pop figure if they made it? Yeah, I would too. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I'd be so happy. Yeah. I put them on like my alarm clock. <laughs> I don't have an alarm clock. <laughs> yeah. That's just my phone. All right. So anyway, Wild Force is. Uh, it's got some good story yeah. elements, but again, a lot of it is just fucking filler. We we yeah. we waste a lot of time doing not much. Yeah. And then for some reason. Toxica and Jindrax become the most interesting characters in the show. Well, I mean, because they have an arc. Yeah. They're doing something. What the hell? Like, like, like this, this the, doesn't happen in a Power Rangers show. Generally. The, generally. The, generally. I'm saying the good ones have it. Yeah. Uh, Jungle Fury had it. Yeah, I know. Jungle Fury, Time Force. RPM kind of had it with the Tanaya thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, Time Force, you get that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Tanaya versus that one dude. The guy with the hair. Yeah, the guy who was a real asshole. Yep. Yeah. Only sexist a seven. Asshole. A sexist asshole <laughs> without being sexist. Because they're robots. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. she has a gender, so I mean, there's that. Well, they don't Granted, know that. He doesn't have a gender, technically, but he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so Wild Force is... Um, it's okay. It's okay. Um, it's you know, fine. It's better than Zeo. Twelve. Zeo... Zio's only real big crime is that it's boring. It just yeah. it just comes off as you know. This is a Power Rangers MMPR show. MMPR season four. Yeah, it's yeah. about as basic as you can get. We didn't really do anything that's like deep and meaningful in this. No, show. not at all. Not not even um, once. We might have been able to do it if David Yost actually got to wear the gold uniform, but I mean. Oh right, happen. that's right. Yeah, yeah, people are stupid. Anyway, hmm. so Zio's it's. Yeah, it's just boring. But it's not, you know, fucking infuriating. Like, yeah, I mean, it doesn't piss you off. It's just kind of like, well, I mean, eh, this yeah. is a power in your show. I mean, I'm not, <coughs> I'm not disappointed by what I'm watching, but I'm not overall entertained. Right, I'm not, I'm not into it. Like, I'm not hyped into this. Yeah. I'm not invested in the Granted, story that we're. I love the suits, to. but I mean, other than that, I'm just kind of. Eh. Yeah, it's yeah, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. It doesn't it, ever like. It, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and it's every fine. time I see a Megazord fight, all I can think is how inferior that thing is to the Megazord before it. The Zeo. Oh right, yeah, because the Zeo is the worst Megazord. Well, it's not the worst Megazord. It's it's definitely up there. Yeah, because it's just got such tiny arms, man. <laughs> it does. It's not proportional, you know. Oh, okay. Like the M and PR, the original yeah. was proportional. Like that thing. That's a ass, but Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah it's, anyway, it's just got such thin arms. Um, um, but yeah, that, that's yeah. that's why that's how we that's why Zio is so much lower on the list because I mean it's not the worst. It's still thing. gonna beat out a whole bunch. Yeah, it's not the worst thing, but it doesn't do anything great. That's why we put you know. Wild Force above it is because of the whole Zanaku thing. Yeah, right. Because, yeah, they, they did stuff yeah. in Wild Force. Um, admittedly, they wasted a lot of time, but Zeo was just kind of there. It was, yeah. was kind of like watching Alien Rangers this season, you know, yeah, with nothing. Little, well, I mean, they get that team up at the end. It was super cool. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and then, but it was, it didn't, like, waste time or have terrible characters like, like Lightspeed. Oh, number the man. thirteen. Oh, Lightspeed Rescue is number yeah. thirteen. Oh, thirteen. Yeah, Lightspeed, yeah. which is a lot higher Lightspeed on the list than I thought rescue. it was going to be. Well, yeah, actually, because uh, it's not a good show. I dis. Well, I this mean, is the first show that I would ever consider to be bad. I don't think it's terrible. I mean, admittedly, some of that has to do with you know my experiencing my experience watching it the first time, but I mean, it's so cool. Uh, no. I mean, it's bland. Yes. But it's so good. I mean, I, I initially liked the stuff with uh, the Titanium Ranger. <coughs> yeah, that stuff uh, didn't go all no, that well. Not the Titanium Ninja. Um, but, uh, yeah, you ultimately don't have anything to do with Ryan after that. Yeah. Which you he could just... argue is the same thing that happened to Tommy before the Green Candle. No. They had a reason for him to be gone. 
And this one is just like, oh, he's just gone. He le- he left. Mm. Yeah. I mean, he, he they gave him a reason. They were like, hey, he's got to do the thing because, I mean, fighting these things aren't good. And also, this saves money. Yeah. Because we don't have to I don't know a suit how, on them. I don't know how much money they spent doing that suit, just making the helmet and whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know where they got that more for. It was a decent Mach 1. Yeah. Anyway. I actually wonder if that oh one was. Oh my god, we. Years. Wow. I am super surprised. Sorry, I just saw what was number 14. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I'm so. I'm really surprised at how high that one is. Why is that? It's Mystic Force. Yeah, you put that there. Yeah. Huh. We did that because of you. Uh, primarily right, because. I, I, believe, oh, okay. I believe your initial reasoning was I mean, at least it tries to do something. It starts at a place, it, it, it tells a story. It dive bombs. But it doesn't dive bomb until like it slowly declines. Right, and uh, at least we have interesting characters that keep, our, or I should say, entertaining characters I gotta that keep you, our man, attention. Kelsey, the side characters don't. I mean, because the they main, matter. The main people are not interesting. I They're thought like, Phineas was gonna be the friggin', light. <laughs> friggin' Nick, who is actually the light. <laughs> man, I hated that guy. Yeah, I know, but he, yeah. yeah. It's it's a, it's still Mystic Force. I want to hear you defend this show because I, I I still think it's got the worst finale. Mystic Force has a lot of problems with it, but it's not like infuriating. You know, like how Overdrive was infuriating, and like some of this other stuff is infuriating. It's infuriating. Yes, no, it, it's it's not. It's just not good. Yeah. But the funny bits are funny. The the not story with the bits. Not with the Rangers, but I'm saying the funny bits with like Toby or like Phineas or yeah. like well, I mean, cause Claire, like, God it, bless her, she's weird. trying. It's weird because these people are so much better actors than the main people that we got in the cast. That's what I'm saying. We've got four very good actors. Three and a half very good actors. <laughs> you got <laughs> Lily, who not just, it. for some reason just steals the entire third arc. Or third act of the series. Well, I mean, because she's just that good. Yeah. And I didn't even notice because I just was so... <laughs> you were so over the show. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, you watch it again and she's like, she's really so... Like, when she's talking about, like, why, why do we hate humans? And yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, so, she, like... She really sells it. It's super awesome. Yeah. And it's then, cool. you know, pairing her off with Phineasy, Phineas, that, that, super, that worked really well. Well, yeah. That's why the whole thing in Jungle Fury happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's very weird. Anyway, no. I, so I Mystic imagine Force, that they cap, they cast them separately, and then it kind of worked. And it, I it think I would rather watch Mystic Force than any of the uh, other the, the five the, or six. The that preceding, have. yeah, uh, the, the ones that follow the <laughs> ones that um, follow this. Which, I think that's why I, I put mean, it that. Yeah, that's fair. I, I I would definitely watch it too. It's just like, okay. There's no payoff. The payoff is right. There's there's garbage. Nothing. And it it's kind of it gets a little bit of lax because it is fantasy based, so you don't have that whole. Science fiction shit, like well, angering it out. Not that it didn't make any sense. It's just that like character motivations are just bad. Yes, like the whole thing with you know uh, the Necroli turning code at the end of the show didn't make any goddamn sense. Necroli's in Dino Charge. Um, yep. Yeah, but I would rather watch Mystic Force than like Turbo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Fine. I feel bad. For, yeah. For saying that, but man, Turbo, mm, Turbo, yeah, you want to talk about dive bomb? A Power yeah. Rangers movie. <coughs> Do you really want me to talk about? I mean, we can I haven't seen it yet. Oh God, it's and it's so your bad. fault. It's, it's just so, like the Star Wars thing I try, all over again. I tried to get that movie, man. I I scoured Hastings for that thing. So yeah. Turbo uh, is Turbo it, again. Is, it's just boring. Like I don't think nothing it, really. No, 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 it doesn't work from like a conceptual standpoint. Yeah, because it never the takes idea, off. The idea of being like, okay, we have the sixth range, the Blue Ranger be like twelve. Yeah, it doesn't work, man. I don't buy it for a second with these people because they're seasoned, hardened warriors at this point. Yeah, really, the only reason Turbo is as high as it is is because of chasing the space. Mm-hmm. Chase into Space is a really good... It's a super good two-parter. Holy like, crap. It is season-saving. Like, if... For the most... Yeah, if yeah you kind of get to Brock is back hadn't been tied to the Legend Battle, I think you would have liked that show a lot more. What do you mean? 
Like Super Bro- Mega Force. If Rock is Back had been tied into the Legend Battle. Yeah. If, if Rock is Back was in like Mega Force and Super Mega Force had the Legend Battle, you would prefer Mega Force over Super Mega Force. Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, because the Legend Battle and Brock, you just completely forgot about Brock is back. Well, I mean, because I got so much rage filled because of what happened later, but I'm, yeah. we're, we're, we'll talk about that later. No, it's but fine. for Turbo, you, you, I mean, you get that, you, again, I, I agree with you, scene, season saving type yeah. of finale. Because, I mean, you finally get to that point, you're just saying, like, oh, good. We Actual got somewhere. Shit, yeah. yeah, we got somewhere. And this is actually important stuff that we can happen. Like yeah. watching Chasing the Space lead into From Out of Nowhere is actually phenomenal. And yeah. I wish that that was a movie that came out uh, yeah. instead of Turbo, Turbo yeah. the Power Rangers movie. It's, it's though. Funny. Admittedly, from from the mentality of the people making that movie, I kind of don't think that would have worked as well because yeah. the director was very much of. He had said when he was making Turbo that this is like something I would watch when I was a kid. Uh-huh. If you go from that mentality, just kind of meh. well, I can see how it has like a Voltron it's an, it's force. It's an elongated feel to it. episode, man. Mm. They do nothing for a solid like hour. Good God, they are on a boat. It's so weird. Mm. Yeah. That doesn't sound appealing to me. No, it's not at all. Oh, yeah. um, but I mean, chasing the space is super awesome. Yeah, that's where you get. And you mean you get the the uh, Turbo Rangers introduced into it, and the Turbo Ranger stuff actually does work with Justin because I mean they're new guys. Yeah, yeah, the passing of the torch stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just didn't buy the first half of the show because I mean you get you get Tommy, who's like the longest running guy that they have. There. Yeah, he's the senior guy now, and you pair him off. Well, with no, because Adam's also there. And you don't really do much with it because you don't have these people relate to each other. And the the best they can do is uh, what's what her name? Cat acting all motherly towards him whenever yeah. he makes a mistake. And I mean, yeah, and it doesn't it, really yeah, work. Yeah, I miss Kimberly. Anyway, um, so oh, Turbo, shut up, Nick. Man, and so Turbo, knife, huh? Nick, you know what? It's my knife too. And she so, admittedly probably would have had better chemistry. You don't fucking say. That, are we really going to argue about Catherine Zettler versus Amy? No, Bell? I'm not going to. We're going to do that at the con. And so <laughs> Turbo was uh, number 50. Number 16. Oh, my God. It's Mega Force. Yeah. Huh. All right. Power Rangers. Mega, Mega Force. Force. Uh, which uh, is, again, it's is, just kind of your standard Power Ranger season. Yeah. You know, it's just yeah, there. Yeah. It's bland. Yeah. Uh, but admittedly, a lot blander 16. than something like Zio. That means that 15 seasons came before it, so don't yeah. be like, oh, that's really high on the list. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just like Zio in the, that is boring, but, or well, it's, it's bland, and it kind of beats out uh, Lightspeed for But with Zio, where we have blander. these, you know, redness and characters, we don't get that in Megaforce. We just kind of get uh, light homage, which, fuck that. When, when I was, uh... Sorry, I, watching, uh... I was watching the first episode of Megaforce earlier today. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Man, and they did I, not go getting through. getting what Emma to say the fucking hairline. I was like, oh my god. Man, I, I I I am I the only one who liked that? Like really? Well, the reactions just aren't right. <sighs> my god. Like, like they just kind of. It's an homage <laughs> though. Like I mean. But do you remember how like have, in the beginning? They have do you remember how in Day of the Dumpster, after she says the line, everybody like laughs and it's like a genuine laugh? Oh yeah, it's not forced at all. Yeah, the yeah, to laugh fair. at all is yeah, the first. Fair. Yeah. I agree with you, but I mean, I loved the fact that this was essentially the first episode, except repackaged and rebooted. It wasn't it was repackaged though. It was day. just packaged like it was just like wrapped like one of those Christmas gifts that you get for your nephew that you don't care about. You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> you know, when you put it that way, I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, it's still... I, I have a soft spot for this show, admittedly. Because, I mean, it's the first seven season I've reviewed. And while I was definitely reaching for a lot of the thematic stuff that they were doing, sure. I still stand by the stuff with Noah and the stuff with Robo Knight because that's a straight-up arc. Robo Knight is and pretty Robo Knight cool. is the thing that, that kind of places this at 16. Yeah. Uh, because it beats out the other holy five. Holy crap, man. I love Robo Knight. He's so freaking cool. He's like got the cool factor of uh, being RoboCop, but also he's got like a character arc. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I mean, RoboCop had a character arc. It was uh, you know, there was like a well, scene yeah, but where it was, was the like same character arc. Was, like was, seeing memories. It was, it was the cool. Same, it was the same character arc except redone for a kid show kind right. of. Right. Yeah, because uh, you can't have a 
<laughs> yeah. Your um, move, creep. I man, if you say that to somebody, <laughs> yeah. I uh, said he's got like you know robotic threats must be eliminated. I yeah. love man. Human, and he just shoots it, motherfucker. Human like, factor is so freaking good. I mean, I agree that you know should th- there have been more of a a decision process? Should should this have actually spaced out between <coughs> the episodes and him being like, I finally decided to join you people? Yes, yes, I yeah. would have appreciated that a whole Absolutely. lot more. But for what we were getting, given it's not bad, and we led into the stuff with uh, Brock and the, the robots are definitely the best part of this. I'm totally going to focus on that part because I hate everything else. Uh, Robo Alice. Of, anyway. Yeah, Robo Alice. Metal which, Alice. Or Metal Blood Alice. Her. Yep. Yeah. You did it. Yeah. You <laughs> tricked me. <laughs> um, but you got Metal Alice and Brock and Cyber Rock. And Cyber Rock. Who looks Alice like his father, which nobody wanted to point out for some reason. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't see it. I and, saw it. And also, if I, if I had seen it, I would have been like, that's super cool, and then all of a sudden disappointed at the end. I do like the fact that he gets the, the line of, you know, power is destiny, because that's what Brock says and Brock is back. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's super rad that they actually, you know, remember continuity. Like that, they don't remember a lot. Not a lot, but, yeah. But, you know, that stuff is cool. And, I and would, that same guy has to I will go episodes. this far. Brock and Metal Alice is kind of like a Daishi Camille thing. Really? Kind of. Really? In her devotion to him. Okay. Not so much his, you know, loyalness to her, because he has none. Yeah. But, you know, in her devotion to him, she thinks she ca- he cares about her, and he, mm-hmm. does, he absolutely doesn't. He sees her as a tool. Yeah. And it's super sad. And I love yeah. how all of that stuff that's brought up in, in Endgame is re- actually brought up again and reinforced in Rock is Back, which we'll talk about That's later. a good point. That's a, that's a really good yeah. point. Huh. It's a really strong companion piece to it. And had we gotten, like, Brock is back, or even something, you know, akin to the Legend Battle involving Brock at the beginning of the show, I think it would have worked on... Then, then, then you might we gotta have got to speed this yeah, up so we can get through the last couple of... Sorry. Because we still have to talk about Overdrive. Yeah. All right, so and Mega Force was 16. Super Mega Force was 17. We talked about those shows, so we don't have to. Yes. We also well, talked about, about... sucks. We also talked about 18 and 19, which respectively, Samurai... or Sorry, Super Samurai and then Samurai. Yeah. Super Samurai is only a little bit better than Samurai, which is because to say... Of? What, because of Lauren, for me. Oh, yeah. That's a she's good like point. an actress, yeah. and we don't have that in Mega Force... Yeah, or in Samurai. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that, that's probably what we get. We don't have a good it. villain. We we at least get, uh, sorry, not Carnosaur, Serrator. Serrator in Super Samurai. So, I mean, you know, so you sorry. Carnosaur. That's almost a Carnosaur, but it sounds like Daishi. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And coming in at number 20, Power Rangers Ninja Storm. <laughs> wow. Pain in my ass. Yeah. God, I hate this show. <laughs> it took us a long time to finish this show, but this is like it's so boring. Like nothing happens, and these characters are terrible. And the the only good thing are the Thunder Rangers for that one episode in that yeah. two parter that didn't need to be a two parter. Four parter. Four, oh, that's right. It was a fucking four parter. Yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, we wasted a whole lot of time. This move. This, this this show didn't know what the hell it was doing. Well, it kind of conceptually. And it has and the Ninja worst Turtles. villain. The absolute. Yeah. Worst villain in Power Rangers history. I will give credit to Florius before I give credit to that guy. That, yeah. I'll give you that one. Thank you. Because, I mean... They're doing a sitcom. At least... Oh, that Lothor. (laughs) At least Florius was, like, you know, trying... Yeah, he was like, well, I'm a villain. Is not trying. I'm going to do villainy. What's your villainous plan? Evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Evil. Um, but Lothor, yeah. Lothor God. is a terrible goddamn villain. And like it's... the coolest part of the show is the samurai stuff. And they don't even go into it as much yeah. as I think they should have. They only do it for like 15 minutes till they ever focus on it. So Yeah. So that's why <coughs> the storm is uh, so... I guess, is that, is that, no, that wouldn't be high on the list, would it? No, that is second to last. Second to last. Okay. Yeah. And now let's then, get into it. And now the final. In Operation you haven't guessed. Overdrive. Good, Good God. God. Wow. This show. Four months. Four months it took us to finish this show. God damn it. Okay, so where do you even want to start? Like, we talked about how shitty the characters are. Camp Counselor Hartman's the worst yeah, I, well, I mean, I, I just kind of want to get your gauge, because we, we've kind of talked about this, this as we've gone through This show just kind of stopped. Like, the finale, I, I, I contest. <clears throat> Mystic Force's finale at least felt like a finale. 
in that they left for like a reason after yeah. everything was done. But at the end of the fucking overdrive finale, they're just standing out on his porch like, well, that was a fun summer vacay, yeah. Camp Counselor Hartman. <laughs> oh my god, I want somebody to make a fan of that. It's so super hilarious. Oh my god, um, it's bad. But I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. Uh, all the pacing issues in Mystic Force kind of stemmed, contained in that one episode. But no, no, they, no, 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 they no, no. Never did pacing right in in this show. No, they like, didn't ever. No, no, never pacing not once. Right. And to the point where like the episodes were like out of order. Like the episodes would end and then start, yeah. And then the episode would like for real end. The credits would roll. Yeah, yeah. The things would just go. Like, this is the plot. Yeah, yeah. It's going to story the, stuff and then. You know, this is the plot of this episode. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Click. Okay, now we're going into the story stuff. You know, the season, it, it felt like really, yeah. Everything in this show God. is bad. The writing is bad. The editing is bad. The casting was bad. The editing was bad. The costumes were bad. The editing was bad. The pacing was bad. The editing was bad. <laughs> did I mention I hate the pacing? In, or sorry, did I mention I hate the editing in this show? Good guy. No, he didn't, actually. I missed that part. Yeah. Uh, it was in one of the things that goodness, I said. Goodness, man. Uh, well, I mean, who would you classify as the worst actor here? Cause Camp he... Counselor Hartman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I had to concede to you on that. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's got, he's got one speech. <laughs> right? Yeah, concerned I mean, sure, sure, you know. Tyson's not really taking any of his dialogue seriously, and he's an idiot. But, I mean, at least there's, like, levels to him. There's no levels to Camp Counselor Hartman. No, there's not. He's just going to, like, okay, guys, you go do it. I believe in you. And then they'll, like, get in trouble or something. Mac, I'm sending you the who's or what's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, this was bad. But do you understand now, finally seeing all of this, how I could not give Jungle Fury a fair shot at first? Yeah, I can see that. Um, I honestly believe that this show is the reason that Disney gets such a bad rap. It did, yeah. Yeah. This show brought every other Disney season down, including SPD, which yeah. I thought was going to be shit when I saw it. So thanks but a lot, Overdrive, this you is piece those, of shit. Yeah, this is one of those things that's like, you know, people give Disney a whole lot of crap, but they forget about, like, all the stuff that happened after the show. Yeah. yeah. Jungle Fury is so good. Yeah. RPM also was really good. Yeah. I don't, like, they had two really good hits back-to-back. -back. Mystic Force and Overdrive, I guess, was enough to kill the popularity of the show. And now we have Dino Supercharge. Well, I mean, you got to admit that, like, because... We wouldn't get something like Jungle Fury had it not been for how terrible Overdrive is. Because Jungle Fury was supposed to be their last shot at it, and they threw everything that they could into it. Yeah, they were like, fuck it, go. Yeah. Just the same thing that happened with uh, Lost Galaxy. Yeah, no, yeah. in space. Was it space? It was in space. Was in space. Yeah. Galaxy stole the budget from Turnanog. Anyway, the uh, the Mystic Knights yeah. of that exist that you didn't believe No, me. we did see the first episode. Um, yeah, and, you know, it was okay. It was yeah. weird. It was... I mean, Barring the production value, man, the cast is totally into it. Yeah, they like oh man, I, I would probably have watched the show. I think I did watch the show when it was when it was airing. But yeah. anyway, back to Overdrive. So, Overdrive is the lowest of the low. Well, I mean, because you. Can't... I don't think I don't know. No, Supercharge is definitely better than this so far. Oh really? Why is that? Because we still have good actors who are like helping. It's like trying to yeah, do something. These are kind of like terrible actors playing terrible people in a story that's not that interesting. Right. Yeah. It's just not good all around. Yeah. I, I don't know. Mac is kind of the worst in terms of performance just because he never... Ooh, man, it's bad. And Camp you, Counselor Hartman was supposed to be the Red Ranger. After having seen... That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. oh, man, a solid point. But I never bought Mac as the Red Ranger. No. No. Like, Never, whenever they were like, you know, we need you in the I team. never bought Wes as the Red Ranger never, in either, we, though, so there's that Red Ranger in training. Yeah, but I mean, at least you got a Red Ranger in training. You got nobody being oh, Red Ranger sure. in this show. Yeah. Nobody. Well, it's supposed to be show. Will. They put so much focus on that asshole. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, It's so weird. Oh, oh God. God. But I, do you understand now why I was so pissed off that, like, you know, I watched Ninjago. Ninjago does this story better. 
Yeah, it was a piece I, of crap. I can see with, that. With the whole thing with the you know, <laughs> I'm actually a robot and blah blah blah. And you know, I don't know how my father cared for me. God, I love Zane. Um, <laughs> I just hate the fact that I've seen this done better. And they don't do anything right. Oh God. They yeah, they don't do anything right though. So you can't get pissed <laughs> off about that. That's not was, fair. Uh, that, well, you I mean, can't pick one thing to get pissed off at editing. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I think costuming. The pace, I think the pacing's worse than the editing. Lighting. Of the show. Editing. Yeah, is really uh, I think I don't think the pacing's bad because have I think we, the editing's terrible. Have we talked about Camdor and Miratrix at all in this tirade? You know, <laughs> <laughs> were they in the show? <laughs> Man, they were. They super like came in and they were like, "Oh, we're dead now." Yeah, it's like Daishi and Camille Light. Actually, it's done pretty badly. Mm, yeah, no, that's not what. The, don't compare those two. <laughs> Are you Don't kidding me? From the bottom me? to the top? Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, okay. Can we not focus on everything that this show is? Well, Camdor and, and Miratrix weren't like the main villain and villainess. Yeah. You know? If you want to compare, you can compare uh, Moltor and Florius to. Um, to Brock and, and Vicar. Yeah. That's a good, solid point. So, yeah, do um, that instead. Well, I mean, because didn't you want but to... But do that next did you, time. Did you want to talk about the, the difference between, you know, this being the worst season and the best season? Like yeah, the, yeah, okay. Yeah, us? we can do that. See, um, aside from all that other shit that we talked about. Yeah. Right? You just have... The, this cast also feels like individual... You never get that team feel that's for over there. That's a good point. Jungle yeah. Fury always has that. Like yeah. every every scene, every time they have dialogue together, it all just kind of flows. Yeah, yeah. It's feel like a group of people who actually like each other, or who like have hung out. Yeah. yeah, camaraderie, not like just people that we got together, which is yeah. like the show. But even Lightspeed yeah. Rescue had that, you know, or they just pull people and off it, the street. It really does. It really does kind of <coughs> make the show suffer because you get to the end with Mag's death and whatever, and they're all supposed to be crying and they're all doing completely different things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but have like you seen Ronnie's Will? They're crying and like, have you seen and, Will in any scene that he's not talking? He's looking at the person who's talking. Oh no! And like waiting for his line. Oh no! Yeah. Oh my oh, god! No. I do not see these things, man. <laughs> I did, man. I tuned out. Ronnie's like, accent. I paid, my, I paid my dues for this show. I wasn't gonna pay that much. I did to too, anything. and now we've both gotten through, and we're finally caught up in time for the movie. Yes. It's March twenty third, twenty seventeen is the new release date, the third or fourth one that we've gotten. Yeah, for this, fucking this one show. is gonna stick because we finally got production, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we've got like posters and pictures and shit so I'm not a fan not a huge fan of but uh, next week we'll actually be back to talk about, so, so yeah hold on wait that, that was our top yeah, that was our list, our ranking. We didn't put yeah. Dino Supercharger on the list because it's Cause, not done yet. Yeah, it's still airing. And, yeah. You know, again, that, that is the point with, with Turbo. You know, there's a strong finale. Yeah, can, a strong can finale really can't bring up, up a season. It's still not as bad as, like, Ninja Storm. Like, Brock is, or like Endgame totally brought up the yeah, Mega Super Force, Force for me. Sure did. And Brock is back certainly brought up Super Mega Force for yeah. both of us. So, I mean, because it's solid, man. Yeah. It's solid. The, the only gripe I can throw at it is stuff that it doesn't build on in the Legend Battle. And that's not their fault. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry. But yeah, that's the only negative I can throw at Brock is back is that they don't build on the stuff in the Legend Battle like they should have. But that's not their fault. That's the more the fault of the Legend Battle yeah. and why it's so terrible. Yeah. It's fine. But uh, our, if you our... guys agree with the list, uh, please let us know your thoughts, how you would rank these. Because, yeah. man, this was... A much larger undertaking, primarily because I didn't think you were going to just straight up be like, no. Yeah, no, I gave up on this show a while ago, so. Yeah, you yeah. gave up on a couple of shows a while ago. Yeah, you I gave, gave up on Ninja Storm. You gave up on Ninja Storm pretty I think heavily. I gave up on Lightspeed at one point. No, uh, I didn't. I didn't give up on Lightspeed. It no. was just infuriating. You, you didn't even give up on Mystic Force. No, oh, I didn't. That, not, not as hard as you did uh, Ninja Storm. I almost said Ninjago. Oh God, Ninja Storm is terrible, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, because we weren't doing We weren't oh, not moving. that Lothor. Next week, we'll be talking about something a little bit more awesome. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so Join we, us next week yes. when we tackle a movie review. Our thoughts on a movie that we've already seen, but we're kind of letting mull over. Yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna watch it again. Yeah. Uh, between this week and next week. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back next week to talk about Captain America Civil War. The movie.
the third. Marvel. Esquire. <laughs> Sorry? Marvels. Marvels. Stan Lee produced Civil War. Yeah, Civil War. <laughs> Lincoln dies. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a spoiler well, who for killed them? him. Whoa! That's Find awesome. out next time oh. on the Power Chamber Podcast. I'm Ice Chip Andy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't know who you sounded like, but it was hilarious. The city of Townsville. No, That's right. yeah. yeah. What you doing there, kid? <laughs> oh man. So you want to make I, a crappy pet? I honestly pet. think you sound like Gingy, but I mean that's just my my opinion. Oh okay. I'm fine with that. As yes. long as I don't sound like Norg. Yes, Norg is the worst. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> I've been Nick, aka Iron Man, nineteen ninety three. Are you miming the the outro? No. Well, then say something. And may the power chamber <laughs> protect you. Vogue and Vogue and Vogue and Madonna, Madonna. I love that movie.